Sometimes in this hobby, you just need a quick win. You need to grab a miniature, paint it, maybe not to the highest standard or best of your ability, but just so you can get some paint down and see something get finished. Let's do that today. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting a Chopper from Star Wars Shatterpoint by Atomic Mass Games. I could paint this better. I'm, I'm positive I could paint this better, but sometimes you just don't need to. Uh, sometimes you just need a quick win or you just need to get something done. And you can still have a miniature at the end of it that still looks good. But maybe it's not to the highest of your ability. Not everything always needs to be to the highest of your ability. I know that that might sound counterintuitive or, you know, I'm saying like, oh, we'll just, just phone it in. No, no, no. Don't phone it in. You can still get really good results without having to uh, strain yourself so much. And getting that win in the hobby is important because that will then propel you to do more. So let's paint Chopper really easily. I gave him a Zenithal spray, so a dark olive color, then a white from above. Um, and then we're gonna move on to some pallid bone and I'm trying something new. I'm gonna mix it with some Flow Aid additive from Liquitex. And this is just gonna go all over the uh, main body panel. Uh, so his lower part of his uh, robot body and also on the right leg, left leg. I gotta, I gotta think about it, right leg. What's interesting about using this flow aid is almost like you can kind of wick it off the surfaces a little bit better and it just leaves a little bit of staining instead of like a lot of staining. So with that flow aid uh, and the Zenithal, that actually worked out pretty good. I'm gonna have to experiment with that more. Uh, yeah, anyway. Next, we're taking some pale gray here. This is going all over uh, the upper part of his left left leg and um, the arms coming out of his head. And we're also gonna use this on these little inside panels here that he has. So he's got an arm that comes out of there. He's got some of these little, you know, they're greeblies. It's just, you know, how they decorate Star Wars stuff. We'll just put some stuff on it. Also on the satellite dish. Also, once we're done painting the uh, head area we can use this color to go back and do the uh, eyes as well I guess they're not eyes robots are hard and we're gonna take some lava orange here and this is just gonna go over all the top part of the head so I guess it's just the head it's so weird because it's not a person but anyway it's going on his uh, robot head Now we're gonna take some speed paint medium and some fire giant orange once that lava orange is dried. And we're just gonna put this over all of the uh, lava orange we painted. So again, this doesn't have to look perfect because he's kind of a beat up junky old droid. So yeah, it ends up looking good. I will say uh, a lot of people will talk about not using speed paints or contrast paints or express paints on flat surfaces. Uh, but if you add some medium into it and you move things around, you can really uh, negate the splotchiness that you get with some of them. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do with those speed paints and contrast paints that some of the uh, bigger channels, uh, I don't know if they just don't wanna do it or they wanna make it look like it's not real painting. I don't know. I, either way, there's lots of stuff you can do with them. Don't don't listen to everybody, including me. How about this? Let me know in the comments below that if you've used the speed paints or added medium to them, are they working better for you? They seem to work better for me. Um, so you guys let me know your experiences in the comments below. Next, we're taking some demonic yellow here, and this is gonna go on the little tiny spot on his uh, head that's supposed to be yellow, and also the band around um, just this, like right kind of below that spot that we just did, there's a band around his entire head. That's gonna be yellow. There's also a tiny little spot on the front of his chest area that's supposed to be yellow, and that's uh, right here. 
Next, we're taking some dark sea gray. This is going on both of his uh, feet. I guess their feet. I don't know. It's we're we're gonna pretend that it's just like a person, and that those are called feet. Uh, so it's going all over there. Next, we're taking some crystal blue here, and he's got just one spot on his front that has a little blue on it, and we'll just put it on there. Next, we're taking some old copper here. He's got one little spot on the front that is like a little copper plate that looks like it's been like added on, and it's going on there. Now we're going to take some plate mail metal, and this is going to be the band underneath his head, like separating his body to his head. We're just putting that right there. Uh, in the show, uh, and the, well, the shows, in the shows, that silver spot is actually an indent, um, not a piece that comes out, so, uh, I don't know why AMG did it that way, maybe easier to, uh, assemble or easier for them to make, but that's supposed to be an indent, so, just so you know, AMG, it's not, it's not correct. Next, we're taking some Grave Lord Gray and some Speed Paint Medium, and this is going over all the gray that we added. So any place where we added that gray, we're putting this on there. And we want to push this around, wick off excess, pull out some if it's too much, avoid too much pooling, and yeah, we're just going to go through and uh, get it all on there. This is kind of a nice, relaxing process, and it's going into all those little Grievely spots on the silver as well. Yeah, anywhere where it's not that pallid bone basically and the orange and stuff. And we're taking some bad moon yellow and some battleship gray and this is for the exhaust. So the bad moon yellow goes on first. I'm going to try to show you guys this process in real time as much as I can instead of making uh, edits or cuts here. So it, yeah, normally I would edit around like pulling paint out of the well for videos, but I wanted to show this to you. So I got that Bad Moon Yellow on while it's still wet. Now I've started adding in the Battleship Gray, but I didn't clean off my brush. So it's yellow and gray already mixed together. And then I can put it on there and wet blend those two colors together. So I've made kind of my own color here. So now we're kind of, yeah, we're wet blending. Here we are. And uh, I will edit out the part where I clean off my brush, which is next. So then I come back with just the Battleship Gray and I put that on all the jet exhaust and everything and blend that together. And then I'll do the base on this guy and he's all finished up. And here he is all finished up. And you know what, honestly, I think it looks perfectly fine. Like it's a little splotchy here and there, but he's supposed to be a beat up droid, so. It all works out and you know, it's just an easy way to get them done and yeah, it looks good. So what do you guys think? I mean, he's supposed to be a junky old droid. Uh, so I don't know, layers and highlights and trying to clean up all those areas. Yeah, you could do all that, but I think this works just as well for um, a character. And I mean, he's a, he's a simple character to paint. There's a lot of straight lines and everything. So I think this works. It doesn't necessarily match all my other miniatures for the game. But I mean, when you're playing, you're not going to notice that. Uh, well, I mean, most people won't notice it. You might because it's your miniature. But yeah, this is some low impact painting that you can get some good results with. And we just want to give a big thanks to our patrons, Charming Grenade and Richie Fender. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want to support me further, you can uh, go down to that Patreon down there. That's always helpful. And uh, you guys have a great day.